What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the next live attack video and what what's actually incredible if we go ahead and check out the war map is this was a random matchup. It wasn't a potluck, obviously not a ranged war, it was completely random. But what makes it more incredible is that it's a completely even breakdown. Check this out guys. Uh, four Town Hall 11s against four Town Hall 11s. Uh, the Town Hall 10s go down to number 18. And on our side, the exact same thing. So we were really, really surprised about that. I mean, usually there's a, a, a town, at least one or if not two uh, Town Halls off. But this was a 100% even breakdown. But I uh, just want to get that out of the way. But yeah, we are warring bad intentions. And we are looking to hit this base right here. Going to be doing the Grundy. Um, I do like how the, the air defenses back here you know, are, are, are offset. Checking out those ADs. And dropping down my queen up here. I'm going to have a couple wizards just to help funnel. I'm going to drop my queen down once she's targeted. Gonna put four healers on her. Uh, she's gonna go ahead and beat through uh, the storage, beat through the town hall, ultimately taking out this air defense and this archer tower right here, walking her way in. While that's going on, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna take her a little bit to start beating through those buildings. But while that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and drop. Now I'm probably gonna get a wizard, probably get one wizard right here. We'll get one right here and one up at the top. What I need more than anything is I need this elixir collector funneled. I need that to go down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my two P.E.K.K.A.s down followed up by a whole bunch of wizards. I do have nine wizards uh, bringing along to this attack. So I'll drop down a bunch of wizards over here. Ultimately, they're going to take out that air defense once they do because I see there's only one cannon right here. So my P.E.K.K.A.s, I'm going to have two of them. They should last quite a bit. Uh, they should be able to stay up. So once that AD goes down, I'll go ahead and drop two healers on them, followed up by my King, and followed up by, uh, once these gold swords go down, I'll go ahead and drop, I got six Valkyries, and I have bowlers that are going to be coming out of the clan castle. And they should make their way right into the center of this base. I'll go ahead and rage everything up by that time. The enemy CC will come out. Uh, they're going to aggro onto the queen pretty quickly. Uh, go ahead and raise that up. Heal. I do have, I do have three rages I'm bringing to this attack, and we are doing a Grundy, but definitely, definitely looks good. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we need to do. Just got to make sure that my queen. I'll probably end up dropping my queen. Yeah, I'll drop her on the elixir storage first for the elixir, the elixir, yeah, the elixir storage. She should go storage, town hall, uh, storage, town hall, the archer tower, and then the air defense. And then from there, she should path, she should work her way in. Or that's ultimately the idea. Even if she walks out and comes down this way, it's not gonna be a huge deal. I'm still gonna have all my bowlers and everything gonna be working through this base. Um, so without further ado, let me just make sure, if I check the range on these cannons, I should be able to sneak in, I should be able to sneak in a couple wizards on that elixir collector. I do have, I mean, I do have nine wizards I'm bringing to this attack. I don't need to bring baby dragons. Uh, with the air defenses where they are. But again, even if the queen walks out, it's not going to be the end of the world uh, if, she, if she doesn't go in with the kill squad. Uh, I will have I will have two poisons for the CC. But that is pretty much it. I don't see any Teslas over there on the other side. So we will go ahead and check this out. I'll go ahead and go... Make sure I have my heroes. And we will go ahead and go live right here. All right. I'm definitely gonna start off with a couple wizards right there. 
go ahead and get my queen down. She's out of range of everything, which is good. Those wizards doing a good job on that funnel. Okay, I'll go ahead and get a couple wizards on that side. She's gonna come down once she comes down. Let's see. Okay, so she's gonna path exactly where I want her to. Let's get these Pekkas followed up. Oh, that air defense is still up. The wizards are gonna get it though. Okay, everything moving in. Go ahead and rage all that up. Oh my god, the bowlers walked. Well, that's not good. How the heck did those bowlers walk right there? Let's go ahead and get another rage. Let's see. I still have one more rage to use. The bowlers are actually doing some work. Get that leading rage right there. We'll go ahead and start funneling all this crap. There's a lot of trash in this base right here. Let's see, bowlers are still up. I still have both abilities and we still have uh, healers healing everything up, which is good. So queen is just, all right, hopefully those healers can switch on over. We do have a couple Teslas up there. Still quite a few uh, point defenses, but those P.E.K.K.A.s are doing absolute work. Uh, we got Valks and some bowlers. I cannot believe that those bowlers walked. Uh, if anything, it might come down to time. I wish those healers would switch. Gonna go ahead and pop the queen ability. Uh, Pekkas are still up. I'll go ahead and hopefully keep all the everything inside. I don't see any troll Teslas. We still have king ability. Those bowlers walking actually did me a favor. We'll go ahead and pop king. Uh, we're coming up on 45 seconds, but if you see those healers, they I mean, this attack is so powerful, uh, especially on the right base layouts. We're definitely going to be getting the three star. Uh, I could not believe those bowlers walked. I guess that, that wall didn't break in time. Uh, Valks did not get that wall down in time. But uh, regardless, ended up in our favor. The bowlers walking actually ended up doing us a big favor there. So that was our first attack of the war and ended up getting a three star. So I will absolutely take it. I uh, have not looked at the first base. Uh, we'll go ahead and watch this replay. I do like how the opener went though with the queen, with the wizards. I was a little early uh, on the wizards on this air defense right here. Uh, I, I was supposed to drop more wizards to make sure. They still got it down though. The healers did stay up, but the air defense did start targeting them uh, when I was not expecting them to. Uh, notice that we delay the healers. We do not drop the healers right away um, on the on the queen. She has an age. The only damage she's taking is from a mortar. You know, not a very big deal. So it was actually nice that she targeted the AD instead of the arch tower because if she went archer tower AD, she more than likely would have walked around the base. Uh, so right here we have all these wizards ganged up. If I just waited a little bit, those wizards, as you see them right there, they would have headed for that AD. So actually the, the air defense ends up taking out one healer. Uh, so right here I should have waited on my bowlers. I should have waited for the Valks to beat through the wall. They end up targeting uh, this elixir storage right there. So again, the difference of just a, a couple seconds, if those Valks broke the wall, the bowlers would have went straight in. But as you guys are gonna see, I end up getting a lot of value out of the bowlers regardless, because look at what is inside the core. Everything's inside the core, distracting all the defenses, and the bowlers are just trimming all the trash, and they're shooting the defenses from over the wall. So still got, I mean, we still got pretty decent value. Uh, there's that leading rage right there. Instead of dropping them right on the troops, you on this attack, you almost wanna drop the rage into where the troops are going to go uh, to make sure you get ultimate value or you know the most value you can out of these spells. And right here, you kinda know, I mean, things can still kinda go uh, kinda screwy, but you know, if, if you have pretty much 70% of the base gone, you got, a bunch, I mean, just about everything left over. Still got both the hero abilities, uh, still have bowlers, still have each P.E.K.K.A. One in the core, one walking with the king, 
Uh, again, still have a couple of Valks. And the biggest thing is having those, uh, the hero abilities for the king and the queen uh, makes a huge difference. Uh, you know, just getting rid of all of these point defenses towards the very end, even ending on that mini Tesla farm with the cannon and the wizard tower does not matter with all those healers right there in the core. End up getting that three star using the Grundinator. Definitely give it a try if you guys haven't. We still occasionally see it from time to time. Uh, if I see a base that I really like it on similar to this one, uh, I, will, I will not hesitate. Ooh. All right, we got Edox coming in here. Little bonus action before we wrap up this video. Uh, let's see what he's got going on here. Okay, this is... It hey, does not have any hogs left. I don't know, this could be... This could be a time fail. Uh, still has that queen ability with just those two cannons left. Instead of the queen routing through that broken wall, she ends up shooting a wall. Uh, so that could have definitely turned out much differently uh, if she went ahead and took... Well, I don't know why she didn't take that route. She could have gone through that broken wall and at least beat the, the golems through the wall, ending on the cannons. Definitely could have been a lot different. Let's see. Going to be close. Only has 15 seconds left. Look at the wizard shooting over the wall. It's going to be really, really close, but it will definitely be a time fail. Very nice try uh, to Edox on that attack, but that is going to wrap it up, guys. Just want to do a little live attack for you. It's been a really long time since I did one, uh, and we do have an... Uh, oh, wait, we got one more here. Oh, that's on their side. All right, I don't want to burn any bases. I already got in trouble for that, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was live attacks, uh, clashing FFS. Make sure you guys uh, like the video if you liked it. Comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.